Hello, my name is Graham Brown, and in the next five minutes, I want to show you how you can escape the cubicle, how you can become financially and creatively free. It's a very simple idea, but very difficult to achieve. If you follow what is really laid out for us, the only options, the mainstream options that we are given as entrepreneurs to achieve this. So what does it take to become financially and creatively free? I achieved this, but I have to say that this is only possible if you have a realistic time frame. So what I'm gonna show you in the next five minutes is a formula that works if you plan for the long term. If you want something that's gonna work in a year or two years, forget it. You know, I don't have an answer for you. You could probably go and search on the internet and find some get rich quick scheme, but this is not what it's about. This is how you can build wealth long term so that you can become creatively and financially free. And to do this, I think we have to look at what our options are. You know, what are the options given to us? And then look at what is my escape plan for lifestyle entrepreneurs. So what are the options that we have available if you want to become financially or creatively free? There are three options that I see on the table for us presented to us by the mainstream. The first one is get a job, work really hard and become financially free by increasing your salary and so on. That never ever happens. People think that the harder you work, the closer you become to financial and creative freedom. Never happens. The only way you can exit that model is to retire. But you know, I put it to you, why wait until you're 65 to really become financially or creatively free? There's a much quicker and, you know, a much more guaranteed way of doing it. Most people, when they get to 65, physically aren't in the shape that they want to be. So why wait until then? And you know, it's a very long time to waste a whole life slaving away in a job that you don't necessarily love, just so you can enjoy a few years at the end of it. The second option is to start a business, build that business and exit, have that business acquired or sell that business. Now, whilst we see a lot of that in the media, the problem with that model is you're putting your future in the hands of somebody else. So you're putting your future in the hands of a potential acquirer, somebody you haven't yet met, and an event that happens maybe five, seven years down the line that may or may not happen. So it's a crapshoot. It's a throw of a dice. So why build a business and put all the future that all you've invested into that business into the hands of somebody you don't know and somebody you haven't met? It may not happen, and chances are it won't. If you look at the statistics, 98% of businesses are never sold. So you've got a 98% failure rate on that business. You could work five years, seven years on a business and find out at the end of the day that you can't sell it. Why waste all that time? The third option is to win the lottery, which is serious for some people. That's how they feel they're gonna become financially and creatively free. But look at the chances. You're more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to win the lottery. And all of those other options as well are lotteries in their own right because building a business and selling it is a lottery. Working hard and retiring and being in good health and having enough money to retire is also a lottery. So what I want to share with you now is my escape plan, which kind of de-risks the whole process, takes the lottery out of it and puts you in control. Really simple. First step is to build a lifestyle business. Now, what is a lifestyle business? A lifestyle business is a business that you do because you love, you're passionate about it, and you create value for other people. You're useful rather than innovative, and that gives you freedom within your lifestyle. At the top of the pyramid for a lifestyle entrepreneur is freedom. Freedom of choice, freedom of time. So a lifestyle business is something you can get passionate about, something you can wake up and feel really motivated to be committing yourself to. And the interesting thing about the lifestyle business is the goal of the lifestyle business is very different to a typical startup business. The goal of a lifestyle business is not to sell the business, it's not to exit the business. You know, why sell the business only to go and start something the same because you're passionate about what you do? The key here is to have a business where the goal is not to sell it, but to keep playing the game. The reward for doing this business really well is not to cash out, but to keep doing it because you absolutely love doing what you do. So why not keep doing that until you decide the day comes that you don't want to do it anymore? That's up to you. That's your choice. But that is what a lifestyle business is all about. Choice. You work for yourself. You have the choice to do that business or not do that business, change that business or not change that business. 
Whereas the other options that I've presented to you, you have no choice. You're working for somebody else. Even when you're working for yourself, and you're trying to sell a business, you're effectively working for somebody else. So start a lifestyle business, grow that business, and create cash flow. Now, if you're not intending to sell that business, you can design the business in a different way. If you're intending to sell the business, the key is to take the cash flow and reinvest that back into the business. However, if you're building a lifestyle business, the goal is to create cash flow. Take the business, so the cash out of the business and use that as an investment tool. So the second step is to build a business that you can invest the cash flow in. So that's an investment business backed by assets. So here's what you're doing. You're growing a lifestyle business. This is your day job, so to speak. This is what you do day to day. That creates cash flow. You take the cash flow out of the lifestyle business and you put it into an investment business. The investment business goes to work while you sleep. Now, an investment business isn't exciting. And it's not supposed to be exciting. It's something that you can put cash into that those cash buys assets and those assets appreciate in value and creating an income whilst you're busy on your lifestyle business. This is the formula that worked for me. It won't work in a year or two years. It may not work in five years, but seven years, 10 years, it will work. And the chances of that working in seven to 10 years are very high compared to building a business or selling it, or you know, working in a career and trying to retire early. So this is my escape plan. Build a lifestyle business, invest cash flow from the lifestyle business into an investment business backed by assets. And the best assets that I have found out yet, I am not going to give you any kind of investment advice. You need to go out there and learn this stuff yourself. But the one that worked for me, the most effective asset out there was real estate. Every single country has a real estate market. Your city has a real estate market. If you're not a house owner, flat owner, you are a renter. If you're a renter, you're paying your landlord's mortgage. I don't know in 50 or 60 years time whether Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram or Amazon are going to be around. You know, the hottest properties today. I don't know that. But I do know for a fact that people will still need a place to live and there still will be a finite amount of land for those people to live on. And that is why over a period of 100 years, 1,000 years, if you look at the best performing assets of all time, real estate would be right there, right at the top. Yes, it may go up and down in the short period of two, three, four years. But over time, There will always be people who will always need a place to live. And I feel that fundamental makes it a fantastic investment over the long term. I don't want to be looking at that every day and hawking my assets and investments. I just want to take some money from my cash flow out of the lifestyle business and put it into a safe asset that's going to produce a return over the long term. That is how you stand as so much a higher percentage, a much more probable outcome of becoming financially and creatively free long term. And it's really simple. So that is how I advise people to escape the cubicle. Hopefully that was useful. My name is Graham Brown. If you like what I just shared with you today, if you thought that was useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more of the same.